like how did you become a fan of them to begin with? Are you aware that Michael Jackson has broken two records, world records before? What's your favorite song? <laughs> do you think he's dead? <laughs> no, I would ask them to hee hee. Do you do any of the moves that Michael Jackson did? What's your favorite album? I Moonwalkers. Known as super fans of Michael Jackson that keeps his memory and his music and his talent alive, keeps his legacy alive. Today I'll be interviewing Moonwalkers and see how Michael Jackson impacted their life. Are these Moonwalkers just fans for the music or are they fans of the true person that is Michael Joseph Jackson? Hi, how are you today? Hello! Love, we stand, we support, we live, laugh, love, breathe, eat, sleep, repeat, Michael. Hello to the fellow Moonwalkers part of this fan base. So, what would you like to be called? Moonwalker? There's also uh, Applehead. Uh, what, what do you call yourself? Moonwalker for life. Period. And that's on per. I proudly call myself a Moonwalker. And I am happy for it. Well, I would like to call myself a Moonwalker and an MJ Hardcore fan. I think I'm both, but also more a Moonwalker. How did you become a Michael Jackson stan? Pause, I don't know the difference between stan and fan, so don't come for me. I became a big uh, Michael Jackson fan when I listened to old CDs and even some records that my grandparents had as a kid. and It just grew on me ever since. Okay, so it all started out when I was like two or three. And um, yeah, my grandma and my mom were like playing him. And I was like, oh, okay, bet. Hey. I don't even remember the first time I heard. It was probably like, remember the time or something. Something popular. It was something popular. And then later on in the years, I kept going on and off like, I have remember him and then one day I did it and then one day something reminded me of him and then started Moonwalker and I just recently started back this year and yeah I've been here ever since as far as I know it started in what uh middle school maybe younger than that because obviously I have an obsession with it but it's kind of a problem I'm gonna put it listen to his songs all the time and I love it. I've been a moonwalker my entire life, honestly. I grew up listening to Michael, thanks to my family. Me and my family are huge Michael fans, so since I was just a little baby and a little kid, um, I've always listened to Michael, and my family always put Michael when they have the opportunity and everything, so yeah. I became a moonwalker thanks to my friends, she, she uh, was watching a uh, uh, Michael Jackson uh, song. I think this was the uh, the way I make me feel, and I wat watched this with her, and uh, with her, and uh, and I start start to listening to uh, more songs, and yes. What are your favorite songs? My favorite Michael Jackson songs would definitely be Billie Jean, Beat It, and Rock With You. Oh, there's a whole list of them. Um, I don't know where to start. But on the dance floor, Chicago, Loving You, A Place With No Name, number one. Nobody's taking that from me. Anyways, love is... <sighs> Love never felt so good, the original one. Justin Timberlake sucks booty. What else? Streetwalker Al Capone. Let me think. I have to think, okay? Like, I have to think. <laughs> Anyways, dangerous. Um, uh, who is it? Give in to me. Ooh, pretty much all of them. Well, really? Morphine, ghosts, uh, alcohol and um the rock my world yeah that one and 2001 big songs right there favorite songs okay this is a hard question because i love every single one of michael's songs i cannot choose 
But lately, I've been in love with five songs, which is Al Capone, Liberian Girl, um, Dirty Diana, Remember the Time, um, You're Not Alone, um, You're My Life, and also I like Heartbreaker. My favorite song of Michael Jackson is uh, Given to Me and uh, Smooth Criminal. What is your opinion on TikTok using Michael Jackson songs? I definitely think that TikTok should not be using Michael Jackson songs because it, the songs really are works of art and TikTok just speeds it up or slows it down. It just makes it sound so much worse. Um, I think it's absolutely not okay because first of all, there's two reasons. Okay, there are two reasons. Number one reason is because that most people still think Michael is innocent and then they go on TikTok and see his songs are trending and then they decide they want to use a song even though they said they don't think he's innocent, which I don't think is right. Number two, they're going to overplay it and then I'm not going to like the song anymore. That's what happened with Heaven Can Wait. I stopped listening to Heaven Can Wait after a TikTok ruined it. I swear to god they just speed them up and it makes it 10 times worse than it should be and the songs alone just not sped up it's just fine alone just like why are you guys speeding them up it makes no sense Turkey's and Michael's songs are very I would say different I know there's many a lot of moonwalkers who doesn't like um other accounts or TikToks using Michael songs, but I think for me, I don't liked it, but I don't, um, I don't hate it. I mean, yeah, there's Michael songs that we have to give because everyone has different, different type of views of Michael, and suddenly now they're realizing that these songs belong to Michael and they're using it. But I, the same time, I liked it because there's so many underrated songs of other albums of Michael that not many people have heard and now they're gaining more they're um more known into the TikTok world so yeah opinion about uh, the TikTok when they use Michael Jackson song uh, I think it's okay I don't know how much hate do you get for being a fan of Michael Jackson don't get much hate because I surround myself with those who will respect him and the idea that I listen to his music and actively enjoy it. This. The thing is, I'm glad it's none of my friends. Absolutely none of my friends, to be honest. Because I've already dumped their friends as if they didn't like them. And it was kind of hard, but I had to do it. Because, you know, he helped me through a lot. Like, only some serious stuff he helped me through a lot. And he just made a whole impact in my life. And it's nothing compared to my family like it's nothing compared to my family my family will bring me down down for stuff without even asking what's wrong what what's happening like they will just yell at me and say random stuff and like i'm always a disappointment and michael helped me through those times because i was i knew i wasn't gonna be a disappointment to him it was just signs that I needed to get better. You'd be surprised, but I don't get a lot of hate because I don't talk to a lot of people who aren't fans of Michael Jackson unless they are, or if they're not, then I'd be fine with that. I they don't right. talk about it, so... Yeah. Then I know this might be really weird, and you will think that I'm crazy, but only, like, ten times I have been insulted, I have been threatened to dead. Well, yeah, that happens, actually. And many people have said negative things about me and everything like that. I have, I am actually really, really um, happy to say that. I don't receive a lot of hate, honestly, which is crazy to think about. But I don't receive a lot of hate. It's really weird for me to have people send me um, death threatens um, or insulting me or saying mean things to me. But um, I think that I have never been in a case where it's really, really like a hard situation that someone is literally 
saying mean things to me, but no. Michael Jackson has been a big inspiration from young to old people, and worldwide, his love for people brought light to the world. Keep an eye out for part two of A Day with Moonwalkers, where we learn more about the fans and about Michael Jackson himself. Thank you and have a magical day.